Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Friday and it's time for another Friday Reads video. And I actually filmed this video once before, but then my camera battery died and then I took a nap. So let's try this again. Um, I have been deep in the world of Robin Hobb and the Farseers. I am on the third book and um, I'm pretty close to the end. I'm about 80% through the audiobook and the audiobook is like 37 hours long. So I still think that means I have like eight hours or six hours or something left to listen to, but I'm hoping to finish that this week. Definitely not this weekend, but finish that this week. Um, and then I'm probably going to take a Robin Hobb break so that I can listen to some other audiobooks in the meantime before I pick up with the, I think, Live Ship Traders series. Um, because, let's be real here, I'm going to read more Robin Hobb this year because she's fantastic. Um, the other book that I have been working on is The Winemakers by Jan Moran. She's the same author that wrote the book The Scent of Triumph and I loved that book and I'm really enjoying this. I'm about halfway through it um, and it's really interesting. It has to do with wine and secrets and that kind of thing, family drama and it's set in the 50s and the 20s so it's got to like it's got the flashback perspective that a, that a lot of the historical books that I read have um, and just like Scent of Triumph this is a really well researched book, so if you're interested in wine, this is a this is a good one. Um, when I finish this, which I'm hoping to finish this week, I'm going to move on to another book that I got for review because I got this actually from Jan herself. I ended up with a Net Galley copy as well because she sent me that first, and then I ended up with this. Um, so I'm trying to clear out the books that I have on my Net Galley, and so after I read that one, I have one more, and that is. Um, the Midnight Watch or Midnight Watch, I can't remember, by David Dyer. And this is a Titanic historical fiction novel, so I think we all know I'm very excited about it because I love anything Titanic. And you don't see a whole lot of uh, historical fiction that's around the Titanic. You see a lot of like World War II and, you know, I don't know, a lot of books sur surrounding the, the World Wars, but you don't really see a whole lot of historical fiction that has to do with the Titanic. So I'm very excited to read that one, and once I read that one I'll have cleared out my NetGalley books because I promised myself that I would not request any more NetGalley copies until I finished the ones that I had read. And there is one that I really, really want to request, but I'm holding off because I want to make sure that I am keeping my TBR manageable and I have a lot of books that I own that I want to read. So I'm going to try to scale that back, but um, that will be what I move on to next. And I also may pick up the third Animorphs book because I just got in the mood and read the second one in like a day and a half. Um, I would have read it in a day, but I didn't have time to just sit down and read it. So I'll probably read this at some point either this week or this weekend maybe, depending on my mood. I'm just loving rereading these and it's a fun break from really heavy historical fiction topics because a lot of um, historical fiction can be really dramatic and heavy. So these are fun to break that up with. Uh, other than that, I'm going to have a pretty low-key weekend. It is Easter weekend and my family does a big thing at my aunt's house. So we will be doing that and I think Justin and I might go for a semi-hike tomorrow because it's supposed to be really pretty. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty low-key, good reading weekend. I am probably going to try to do some Project Life tonight because I am behind. I still have to do one of the months or weeks in January and then I have I think I'm now two weeks behind in like current time though I'm pretty sure one of those weeks is just going to be pictures of my cats or cat there's not even two cats just the one cat um, because I took way too many pictures of him and uh, nothing else that week so cat lady problems anyways so I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday and I will see you next time bye say hi <laughs> hi Simon